Hello, I am Hitesh Ron from LabVIEW and Multisim. It is sixth video lecture of the LabVIEW tutorial lecture series. In this video, we will discuss about the Boolean mechanical action. So the question is, what is the Boolean mechanical action and why we need to study about the Boolean mechanical action? So for that, I am going to write one small example here. So right click, come into the Boolean. When you will take a push button and you will connect, you will take a, a round LED. So here I am going to put in, okay, so it is push button we know. So input LED. Now here I am going to take one more control, boolean control, the stop button and going to take one more LED. One more LED. So these are the uh, ones set up boolean control and indicator. When I will press the run continuous button means simulate continuous button and I will click onto the input. So LED uh, is glowing right, LED is glowing. Again when I will press, so you will see LED, LED is switch off. That means when I am pressing the control, so LED is, is on, LED is off. But when I am pressing the stop button, so this, okay. So I am not getting any action on LED. Now you can see on the block diagram here I am going to press the execution highlight when I will press the execution highlight now you can see here the input means the control terminal push button control terminal is generating false continuously and the LED is receiving that false that's why it's the switch off when I will press the input button means the pause button so it start generating a true due to that true LED is glowing now in a stop case you can see here continuously f is, uh, false is coming out false is generating but when i will press the stop button now you will see it will it generate it's generate a true for a while and automatically it go to the false true and automatically it will go to the false only i need to press once so the reason behind this to on and off this function to on and off I need to human interaction to on and off for this push button we need two time click two mechanical action two action we need to perform but here when I will press it once it will generate first two and after some time it will come out it will automatically go to the false so why it is just because of the their different mechanical action these are the same boolean but they have the different mechanical action so how can i get the mechanical action how can we get so right click when you will right click on the control in the last second last class you will get a mechanical action so now there are six kind of mechanical action switch when pressed switch when release switch until release latch when press latch when release latch until release so now question is what is the mechanical action the question is here so what is the meaning of mechanical action boolean control has a mechanical action which control how activation with the mouse affect the value of control that means boolean control have a mechanical action which control how activation with the mouse affects the value of control a mechanical action allows the control to mimic the certain physical actuators in our daily life in our daily life we use the electrical switches to start and stop our fan so that is a boolean kind of action we use mouse click we use some mouse click okay mouse so that is <coughs> also a mechanical action we use a doorbell that is a, again a boolean action we use starter motor that is also a <coughs> boolean mechanical action so in lab view there are six boolean six different mechanical actions are available six different mechanical actions are available and these are the now you can see these are the mechanical actions are available on the boolean lab view three mechanical action associated with the switch and three mechanical actions associated with the latch switch mechanical actions is the 
if you want to uh, recall it and uh, memorize uh, on an easy terminology so you can say the switch mechanical action is human readable mechanical action and latch mechanical action is computer readable mechanical action so in a switch we have three switch when press switch when release switch until release in the latch we have three latch when press latch when release latch until release when you will talk about a switch when press the value of control change each click when we will click whenever we will click value will change the value of control change on each and every click is similar to light switch on switch off now here i am going to change the mechanical action now the mechanical action is different the value of control only change when the mouse will release here i am going to press and it's not okay when i now now you can see here right now i am pressing the led i am pressing the button but i didn't release my left click of my mouse that's why there's no change when i will release my hand so i will get change on the led the third one is the value of control change the value of control change okay till button will press now you can see okay so it is our doorbell functions latch in the latch mechanical option let's come into the latch op option and change it run the value of control is update update when mouse button is disappear once the vi read the value it will uh, return to default value so default value of boolean is false so when i will press the button it will read the value and when I, okay when i will change the when i will press the stop button when i will press the stop button it will change the mechanical uh, action whatever the action will uh, my system is generating it will read and automatically it will go to the when system will read there you can see it is human readable when system will read my action it will automatically go to the next okay uh, it will automatically go to the default i am going to change the mechanical action again it's press and release press and release the value of control is updated when the mouse click is released within the boundary of control once the vi reads the control it return to defaults when i will press it and release it will be when i will press it and release my hand no need to press two times press it till i am pressing when i have release it will be read the action and automatically it will go to the default and the third one switch until release the value will update while the mouse is held down okay or uh, until the vi read the value now i am going to show you one example which you can also use for your reference so you can come into the blog uh, sorry you can come into the your vi click and uh, come into the help click on the find example in the find example when it will take few second to open after that come into the search and search mechanical when you will click on the mechanical you will get a mechanical action dot vi double click and open this example and using this example you can understand now the mechanical action this first one mechanical action is uh, associated now i'm going to okay when i will press the button it will update the status and it will start the counter it's counting off or reset come to the switch when release look at here now i had pressed now i has pressed only but i didn't release my uh, key now i has released my key i am 
I had again press now I had released the key reset now here I am going to press till I will press it will work when I will release it will stop performance performing okay same you can uh, examine last three switch when press switch sorry let when press let when release let and release it's a very easy program and you can also design this program So thank you for watching this video.